This is Graf Nightmare, more announcements. Thanks for joining us once again. Rise and shine lands on high school. This is the daring duo of mom and daughter with your miking news. Please stand for the place of the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Lansdowne. Now we got information about the future career. Mom, why don't you tell us about that? Any students interested in a future career in the armed forces should talk to Lieutenant Colonel Cook or First Sergeant Vaughn about taking ASVAB test. This is a test that will help the recruiters place you in an appropriate job in the military. You can sign up to take the test here on December 12th. If you have questions, talk to one of the JROTC instructors today. Yes, and in SGA news, they are hosting two activities right now that you can participate in today. Firstly, you must have noticed a box in your homeroom for the SGA Holiday Care Drive. You can help SGA and your homeroom by bringing in canned or boxed food items along with clothing to support those in need this winter. All donations will go to the Southwest Emergency Services in Arbutus and will directly support families in our area. Your homeroom may benefit as well with the homeroom that collects the most items will win a breakfast from SGA. Doesn't that sound delicious? Secondly, what is SGA doing? Well, the SJ has posted a dream board outside the cafeteria for all of you Vikings who have plans for the future to post our goals out in public as a motivator for you to reach your dreams and to others to be inspired by your aspirations. So participate in the dream board and the care drive today. Yes, that is awesome. Look what we're doing in our school. Get involved, Lansdowne. And now we have a PSA. So it's no secret there's a lot of star children in America. Many are doing life, life of poverty if not a home. The well, Lansdowne's giving you a point to help them out. So, how can you help? Well, for starters, you can join our very own canned food drive. It's simple. Just donate any spare canned foods you have. Or if you don't have canned foods, you can use easily packageable food items like these ramen noodles and teriyaki noodles. This part is homeroom with the most cans. Gets a free breakfast. So, what are you waiting for? Get donating. We have news for seniors, don't we? Indeed we do. So, listen up seniors. There are still over a hundred of you who have not taken your senior portraits. For this reason, Live Touch will be in the building for a second makeup day on Monday, November 25th. See Ms. Curtis in room 208 to book an appointment time on this day. Any photos not taken in school must be taken in the Live Touch studio by December 1st. Anyone who has not taken their portrait by December 1st will not be included in the yearbook. Don't miss out on this once in a lifetime opportunity to be in your senior yearbook. Again, see Ms. Curtis in room 208 with questions. And now we got some news about juniors and seniors, right? Yes, if you're planning to attend CCBC for parallel enrollment or full-time next year, we will have a representative here on Tuesday, November 26th, who will have an instant admission assessment. If you are interested, please see Ms. Steph or Ms. Cabanis. <laughs> Awesome. And also, National Honor Society members will be meeting Thursday afternoon, November 21st, in room 212. If you're interested in running for office, please see Ms. Stefanowski or Ms. Cabanis in the meeting. See you Thursday. 
And now for your SAT word of the day with John. Good morning, Lansdowne. SAT word of the day is consensus. It's a noun. It means general agreement. In an example, the family consensus was to celebrate the holiday at Grandma's house. <laughs> and now we have some magnet news, don't we? Yes, with Mr. Simon. Listen up. Good morning, everybody. If you plan on attending tomorrow's uh, Department of Technology uh, visitor session, that's tomorrow, periods two and three, you need to have your periods two and three teachers sign this form, and you need to return that to either me today or Mr. Melia or the front office. If you haven't gotten one of these or you need another one, then you can get one from the guidance office or from me or Mr. Melia. It's going to be really awesome, so we hope to see you there tomorrow, periods two and three, but you do need to have this returned to us today. Thank you. All right, get it in and get involved. Next, we have some club and sports news, so tell us some about that. Seniors, your fundraising items will be here on Wednesday, November 20th. You can pick them up after school in the auditorium lobby. Mm, and now for sophomores, we'll have a steering committee meeting on Wednesday, November 20th in room 202 right after school. We'll be discussing t-shirts, so make sure you attend. Now, robotics club? Well, there will be no robotics club today. Mm. See Mr. Milia in the library if you have any questions. The robotics team will meet again on Wednesday tomorrow. All right. Well, this has been Anasa Holt and her mother with your morning announcements, reminding you that today is a part of Educational Week. Get your parents involved.